Hi guys, it's Archul Mono. How's everyone doing? Good, 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 I hope. Today I'm here to talk to you about, I was going to say 10 terrific tonkas. I wish I had 10 because it would have just sounded so much better, but it's actually seven. So tonka, one of my favorite notes in perfumery, something that I've been diving into a little bit more and trying a few more things to try and compile a really great list of tonka fragrances. If you don't know what it is, it is a bean. It's tonka beans and it, the way it smells to me is somewhere in the realm of vanilla, but it's so much richer and it's actually, it leans kind of more almond like. It can be smoky. It adds such a nice gourmandy depth to a perfume without being vanilla because for me, vanilla is vanilla is vanilla and it, it's been done so much. So this is a great alternative to vanilla. It also shares a huge, aromatic compound with curing hay so it it leans in that sort of sometimes meadowy hay like place as well it's called coumarin the, the molecule just to get technical on your ass but yeah tonka's fantastic so i've been seeking out some vanilla alternatives because vanilla amps on my skin so much that if i wear something with vanilla usually it overtakes but I've discovered not when there's Tonka present. So these are my seven, I hope you like them. So I'm gonna start with probably the most famous and obvious one. Also one of the most well-loved Tonka fragrances, even by myself. I think it's probably my favorite on this list and it is called Fev Delicious and it's by Dior. Don't roll your eyes, it has to be on the list, all right? This is, like I said, probably my favorite Tonka fragrance. It's part of their Privé line. Is that what it's called? I forget what all of these designers call their private blend lines now. I just, I lose track. Anyway, it's a giant one like that and I really want the really, really big one. And it is gorgeous, this perfume. It has a very gourmand heavy base. There's caramel in there, there's vanilla, there's praline in it as well. But you have a lavender spark in the opening and some cherry as well. But the main star of the show is Tonka. I get a beautiful powdery, sometimes even slightly coconutty tone from this perfume. And it just is such a pleasure to wear. It's been on my wish list for, I, don't, I lost count how many years it's been on my wish list. I have decants, but I don't have the bottle yet. So Fev Delicious, Delicious Bean. Such a weird name for a fragrance, but hey, who am I to say anything? The next one is called Material and it's by one of my favorite houses, Amouage. I really enjoyed this one when I had it. I had a 10 mil, which I've used up now. This one is going more down the vanilla pairing, Tonka vanilla pairing with a bit more of a smokiness going on. There's incense in here. There's Gaillac wood in this one. Oh, it's good. There's also patchouli in this one and oud and uh, what's the other thing? benzoin as well so there's a lot going on but really the tonka stands out more than anything to me this one smells very naturalistic you can really feel the sharp woodiness of the darker notes in this one which cut through the tonka quite a bit but tonka's always going to make its presence known it's like hey i'm over here being all gorgeous and almondy and you're gonna smell me whether you like it or not but this is a really nice offering from Amouage. It's one of the newer fragrances to come under the new direction of Renault Salmon, who's the new um, creative director of Amouage. And these fragrances, I've never smelled from Amouage fragrances that smell quite so natural. You can feel the, the punchiness of the materials in here. And that's not why it's called material, <laughs> but um, I guess that would be a good reason to call it material. But yeah, rich Tonka base, couple of other powdery resinous gourmand notes, and then you've got woody incense, patchouli, and just loveliness. It's a really, really nice one. So check that one out. The next one is one, this is the most recent one that I've tried actually. It's called Tonka Imperial and it's by Guerlain. I was sent a sample of this by lovely Eve Moody. Thank you, Eve, again. I know you saw the video where I opened your parcel and, you know, stuff flew out. And this one was really surprising to me. This is actually the driest one on the list. And the reason for that is because the Tonka here is put in an aromatic setting. It's paired together with rosemary and it's paired together with pine as well. And cedarwood and incense. So those sorts of notes in this one 
mute or dampen down the rich sweet gourmandiness of tonka and it stops the fragrance from becoming overly sweet so you get your tonka hit or your tonka kick but really it's in a kind of dry green aromatic setting and I just didn't expect it to smell like that but I'm putting it on this list because I discovered it recently and I thought it was interesting. So Tonka Imperial by Guillain. The next one is a super fantastic one and it's kind of underrated and not really talked about too much. This one is called simply Bean and it's by a brand called And Fragrance. It's the, the brand that was started by the son of the owner of Lush. His name is Simon Constantine. He was a big perfumer for the brand anyway, but he's ventured out on his own and started his own brand. They have a great Tonka fragrance simply called Bean. And this one is a lot of what I look for in a Tonka perfume. This one has lavender, neroli, and fennel in the opening. When you first spray it, it's really about fennel. That's the thing that just sticks out an absolute mile from the perfume. But once it dissipates, you're basically left with a pure, ultra rich Tonka smell that is so rich, it turns smoky. It's, it's almost like putting pure Tonka oil on your skin. So for me, the opening is a little bit ee, but you know, it's worth waiting probably the half an hour to 40 minutes that it takes for this to just explode with Tonka. This one is chasing Feuve Delicious off of my top spot for my favorite Tonka fragrance. So if you want pure, unadulterated, super rich, 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 smoky Tonka beans in all their glory, try Bean by And Fragrance. It's definitely my favorite from the Burr And. See what I did there? <laughs> The next one on the list is called Bengal Rouge and oh lord this is so beautiful as well. This is by Papillon Artisan Perfumery. It's, a, it's an English brand and the lady behind this brand, Liz Moores, is a fantastic perfumer. She's very good at doing a vintage sort of style with her perfumes and this is essentially her amber perfume. It's themed on the idea of the smell of her cat's fur, not a literal interpretation but the soft, fluffy envelopness, envelopingness of her cat, her Bengal cat's fur. So it's an amber accord really, but what she did is instead of using the traditional kind of labdanum, patchouli, vanilla, she used tonka and sandalwood and a different kind of resin. So it's the amber accord with a huge emphasis on tonka, so you can really feel it in this one. So strong and loud and cozy and hugging. Add, add in there a little bit of an animalic and a little dash of cinnamon and that's what you have, Bengal Rouge. Such a beautiful fragrance for winter, just incredible, I love it. The next one on the list is called Angel's Share and it's by Killian, it's by, by Killian. Uh, it's by, by Killian. <laughs> you know the brand I'm talking about, right? Man, did this fragrance get a lot of hype when it first came out. Yes, gorgeous bottle. Um, you know, themed on booziness. And the reason I've put this one on the list, although to me it's not groundbreaking, it's so expertly blended. It's a very beautiful, gently boozy, tobacco-y type Tonka fragrance. It's rich, it's kind of sultry. Whoever made it, I'm not sure who the perfumer was. Sorry, my bad. But yeah, you can tell it's done with an expert hand because it's, I've never smelled a perfume quite so seamless. Well, I have, but none that spring to mind. When I first smelled it, I just thought, oh, this is smooth, this one. To me, it's not overly boozy. It's really, really beautiful one. And I really enjoyed it when I had my sample, but I've finished wearing that one now. So this one has a little bit of spice as well. There's a touch of cinnamon in it. There's vanilla as well. Vanilla and tonka, I mean, they go together quite often because they're such good complement they complement each other is what I'm trying to say. I prefer Tonka on its own, but never mind. Uh, yeah, there's praline, there's a little bit of cinnamon, there's a little bit of booze, and it's quite expensive, <laughs> unfortunately. But it's very beautiful, so that's why I wanted to put it on the list. And the last one is called Wicked Good, and it's by a brand called Gallagher Fragrances. This one's a really simple composition. It is chocolate, vanilla, and Tonka together huge chocolate note in the beginning it's almost kind of as so bitter that it feels like you're wearing cocoa powder on your skin then the vanilla comes and then bang 
we're in Tonka territory. Kind of similar to the way Bean dries down, except this one is much more friendly. Um, not that Bean isn't friendly, but Bean is almost like the raw smell of Tonka when it dries. And this one, Wicked Good, uh, has quite a lot of vanilla, which kind of blankets over it a bit, but it still, Tonka is the main note when it dries. So it's a quite a simple one, but I put it on the list because it's a very good representation of what Tonka smells like, if you don't know. You can identify chocolate very easily. You can identify vanilla really easily, but not everyone knows what Tonka smells like. If you smell this perfume, when it dries, you will say, ah, okay, I get what Tonka is now. Anyway, that's a really cute one and wanted to put it on the list as well. That concludes my seven terrific Tonka fragrances. Hope you guys like this video. I'm Ouch Momono, trying to make the world smell better. One video at a time. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.